G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and this morning I want to show you four different ways that you can shoot a pier. And to do that we are on Urangan Pier in Harvey Bay which was made and finished in 1917 so it's been around for quite a long time. It started at a length of 1,124 meters, that's over a kilometer, it just stretches out. We walked it yesterday, it is a, it's, it's a long way. Um, but what happened is, um, as it grew old, um, it used to be used as a deep sea uh, cargo port, but as it grew old and became hard to upkeep, the council decided to start knocking it down. And so they started right at the end, and they started knocking back. They got to 824 meters, and the, count, the general public realized what was going on, they weren't having any of it, so there was an intervention. And as a result, the pier still stands and is now being gradually gradually um, uh, restored through um, through new wood as it gradually rots away into the ocean because uh, this is the sea behind me so what we're going to start with is a shot on the pier it's the first um, first option you have uh, when you're shooting piers so you get on the pier and we're going to do this in sequential order so we're going to go on the pier we're going to go beside the pier we're going to go under the pier and then we're going to go over the pier so stick around so as you can see, the light's coming up, and what I've done is I've got a, um, a it's not about 20 mil. I, this is a 14 mil lens, but it was just too wide, and I've moved to a point that's mid between the lights. And the reason for that is if you get too close to the light behind you, it casts a shadow onto the pier. We don't want a shadow onto the pier. And as you can see, I'm shooting low, and the reason I'm shooting low is when you look at the photo, it feels like you're on the pier. If you shoot too high, it doesn't have that sense of grabbing hold of you and drawing you into the image. Now the sun's rising over there, but the pier is this way. And so to, um, to make the most of this, we've got a contrast of dark to the left of the pier and light to the right of the pier. Um, but I'm going to shoot bang on straight up. I'm going to shoot with an aperture of 16 because there's lights spattered all the way down the pier. And if you shoot with an aperture of 16 or 18 or anything up there, you get a burst of light. You get that, that star burst, that light burst, uh, which we're going to go for, which hopefully should emphasize the shot. And then in post, I'm going to have to change around the colors a little bit of the pier because even though you look at this pier, it looks very dark. Um, you can see some of the reds coming through and it comes out, it's funny kind of orange. So we'll have to calm that down and, and adjust that but I'm just waiting for the, the sky to get a bit more of a glow to it about a 30 second exposure and I'll change my exposure and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo focusing on the pier in front of me and then I'm going to take another photo focusing on the pier right at the back um, because at the back um, you have one focal range and as you get closer it gets blurrier so you both want you want just two I reckon two will do it because it's very flat and goes to the end of the shot very quickly if you get my drift so um, we're gonna do that now and I am going to show you how the photo goes and of course if you've got any questions or any comments or any things to add to this conversation please put them in the comments below give us a like and a thumbs up and a subscription if you're not already come on get amongst it and uh, then we'll go to our second destination the other thing is essential about shooting piers is you've got lines, right? You've got the line of the horizon, you've got the line of the wood grain, you've got the vertical lines of both the lights and these pier posts. And interestingly enough, on this pier, the, the posts on the left are not equal with the distance with the posts on the right. So what you need to do is you need to take a shot as best as you can line it up. So you get your horizon dead straight. You make sure I've actually um, put this to the horizon. The middle of the photo is the horizon. So it sinks us down into that pier. Nice. Um, but then your posts that are close to you will actually be a little bit... So you want to shoot it a little bit wider and then take it into Lightroom and do this with it. Urangan Pier is one of the longest piers in Australia. Yeah, 
don't know where Beats it. There might be one outside Broome or Darwin or maybe Fremantle or something like that. It's so shallow here in Harvey Bay. As you can see, slow tide and there's mud flats for days, which makes sense of why they had to make the pier so long if they wanted a deep water trading point to do that. Um, gradually the companies decided they didn't want to use it. It became more and more difficult, probably because they relocated where they were going to drop off their goods to another um, port town rather than just here. So that's why it became redundant, um, but now is quite a tourist spot um, and it's right off Harvey Bay. Uh, easy to find, signposts everywhere and a glorious location. So now I've motored down to beside the pier. Remember we said we can do beside the pier. And have a look at it. Have a look at it. And then you got the reflection in the, in the, in the ripples. Wow. So check out this. And this is the shot. You've got this reflecting that golden glow from the sun as it comes up over here. And then it's like pointed in by the clouds drawing you in. And the pier draws you in also. So obviously you have to go wide enough, and now I'm on 14 mil, which captures the pier here. What I'm gonna do next is gonna go a bit closer to the pier and shoot this direction, um, because the pier itself is a subject, but it's made glorious by the sky and the reflection, which, as you can see, it's just, just nuts. So now I've jumped to the other side of the pier as it stretches out into eternity. And there's this beautiful pool here with the lines as they capture the water. So the pier's running straight through the middle of the shot and goes to its tiniest point right over here. And then these lines draw you in and the sky burrows you in to this point which is bang in the centre. So the idea is the whole shot draws you straight into the middle of what's happening. And I think we should get a bit more colour soon. So I'm going to hang out here. These, these lines and this pool are just glorious. And I'm going to try my tripod. I'm going to sink it right down. It goes lower than this. And see if I can catch more of the reflection of the pier in the actual puddle that's just here and you do that by getting as low as you can to the water without putting your stuff in the drink. So the sun's coming up now but as you can see and this is a perfect example it all gets blown out right so there's not a great deal of color in the clouds. It's all just dark gray. And so it's essential that you expose under a stop. Because if you expose under a stop, you get the beautiful uh, colors. It draws the colors out of the image that otherwise you would lose because of the, uh, the exposure. So keep that in mind when you're shooting sunrises and sunsets to get most out of the color of the sky, underexpose and you'll see um you'll see all the beauty that is before you now i am going to go over to here see where these fingers reach into the water and there's some epic uh reflections and probably this point just here um and shoot the pier with an idea of getting it real close with the sun in the background and the uh the going into infinity but i've got to get a got to get a hurry on there's so many compositions and it's beautiful so what i've done is i'll come down here um, that's the pier in the background with the light, and this is the water, body of water. But there's this cool little pool just here. So if I focus in on, and I expose for, we can colour that in later on. And it just has a bit of colour, you see that? A bit of colour? And so that'll be a nice little feature in this photo. The other ones I've taken of this photo are this and this. And that's like different focal points that's close. So. Uh, the dirt in, fo in focus and then the second one is the pier in focus nice and clear and sharp
isn't it just wonderful I'm going to use this camera now to take a more focused in shot because this has got super wide on it it's always important to use your tools that you have available to get the results you want and that sun is just looking it's just popped it's just amazing now we go under the pier and have a look at this so because the sun rises over here it hits the left columns and you get this beautiful orange glow which then creates this contrast of the blue glow and so basically that's my shot so half a second but it's so clear and so still it should be fine it creates that beautiful reflection and then you've got the, the columns on the left and columns on the right it's 100 ISO and left stop of 18 the reason why I want to get much of it in focus is absolutely possible Now we're going to get up in the sky and this is a DJI Mavic Air 2. It's an incredible drone. It's actually affordable as far as drones go. But shooting a pier from the sky, it's taken it to another level. If you have an opportunity to do so, I'd strongly encourage you to. This is a multitude of compositions that you can explore. So let's get up there now. How was that for a morning that was just glorious? If you really enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to share it around. If there's somebody you think would really enjoy watching it, give it to them, send it to them, see what they think. Um, I'd be stoked to hear your feedback. Uh, this pier is something else. It's just amazing and wonderful. And I'd encourage you to get down to Harvey Bay if you're in Australia, especially at these days and enjoy it for all that it's worth if you'd like to subscribe and join that would be amazing it means so much to me if you want to shout me a coffee you can do that below if you want to hang out comments come on let's have a chat and uh and if you want to show me some of your peer photos that's what i'd really love to see uh, some of your work you can join the facebook page which is down below facebook group and you can be part of that community there the creative crew so otherwise thanks so much for watching have a great day i'll see you in the next video bye